history It's the place to be You're gonna get to know Restaurants and movies appear Amusement parks and ocean piers War will build and love by family Atlantic City's face A changing place Time to lead the way You want to see the old Become the new Remember yesterday Rolling chairs and Charlie cars Ferris wheels and movie stars For what built and loved by family Atlantic City My hometown to the Postcard Show. I'm your host, Joseph Palolo. This is my twin brother, John Palolo. Uh, John's a historian for this show. I have three program consultants, and we thank the studio of WWAC-TV 53 for assisting us in producing and directing this show. I'd like to thank our engineer, Eric Wilkinson. Okay, you're welcome. Thank you very much. Uh, this Postcard Show has spurred a lot of interest in history and the development of the city of Atlantic City. And in fact, it has spread to radio shows, people talking about Atlantic City. It's even spread to South, through uh, South Jersey, through Cape May. Everybody's interested in their history and their roots, as others would call it. But we're here to bring that history to you through the postcards. Postcards do bring the history of a city to life, and there's postcards on every city in South Jersey. Well, John. tape the show. Like, if we don't leave it on long enough for you, if you have the shows taped, you can pause them and look at them and study them, and you'd actually have them if you taped the show. And you can send them to people. People have called me from all over the country. They heard about it in Florida and North Carolina and all that. Been sent and, tapes, right? And uh, their relatives have been sending them tapes, and they love it because they're out of the region. You tape it, send them the tape, they tape it, they send you the original back and send them around. Send them to your libraries, get them to your nursing homes, and. Uh, try to jog the memories of people that have lost their memories oh. and maybe it will bring uh, something back. You can bring them back. Reminisce. And reminisce and they can all discuss it during the days uh, while they're under care and uh, that would work. So right now, tape the show. Get your VCRs rolling. We're going to go to the boardwalk. Old well, shop. I want us to take a moment yeah. and thank our viewers for watching this and for telling other people to watch it. Oh, yeah. uh, we want to tell you a little bit about ourselves. We're identical twin brothers, born in Atlantic City to uh, Alice Lockney Palolo 
Our father uh, is deceased. Our mother is uh, living at home. Home care, being taken care of at home. Uh, we're about 50 years old. Uh, we change our appearance from time to time. We have different uh, outfits on. We're identical twins to a point. Well, when mom stopped this point. dressing us. Now, here's the, here's the point. Postcards are the point. We're going to point to the postcards and tell you about it. We'll get right to it. We're going to uh, go to the Bulwark, Easter Sunday, 1909. Whoa, lots of people. 1909, the Bo building's only three years old, right? Bulwark and Park Place. That building right there is 1906, precast concrete by, mixed by Edison himself. Thomas Edison, the inventor. Of, the, of everything. <laughs> Cameras, phonographs, turntables, tape decks, yeah, light well, bulbs. He invented everything. Mustache. In this room. Uh, hello. He TV. Invented, he facts. invented everything in this room. And not us. No, we're, 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 we're the mothers unique. of invention. We're, yeah. yeah, we're the mothers of all postcard shows. And here we go. Look at the hats. Check the hats. Yeah, look at these little straw hats and stuff. That was the big, it's still the big thing, Easter Sunday, dressing up and suiting, right? Boardwalk and Park Place. There it is again. Off the boardwalk, looking at Boardwalk and Park Place. Here's horses. Hello. Along the bulkhead, if you can see. And... Bulkhead because the water would always the go water into The water would always place. rush in to Boardwalk and Park Place. Here's the Claridge back here. Little cottage. Here's the Brighton, which became the Sands property, here. Right here is where all the Bally employees jump out and run in the side door now. This here now is an amphitheater. Oh, yeah. And they put the fountain of light for the invention of the light bulb in here in 1929. But this is like 1906 or something. Now, this picture, could this picture be taken off that mysterious pier that you think uh, or was at Indiana as a pier? Is that no, the not, not really. Well, it could be at the... Uh, that pier, but this is the Luray's umbrellas. We, I've sort of right, researched Kentucky. this out. This is Kentucky. This here, this here low building is uh, Smith Rolling Chairs at Kentucky. So this is after the pier has been removed. Here's Tennessee Avenue here, and here's the Waldorf Astoria all the way down here. This was 1909, the picture too. So that's after the fire, right? That's after the fire. The whole town burnt down from Illinois to what? To Tennessee. Tennessee. In 1903. It didn't get the Mayflower or the Waldorf Astoria because they were brick and fireproof. But uh, here is Auditorium Pier, which became, was originally built as Applegate's Pier, which became bought from Applegate by McSuey and Young. And then it, McSuey split, and then Young just had it, and then he built the Mayflower Hotel here. This is Tennessee and the Boardwalk and it became Central Pier years later as we know it, and Schiff's Pier today. Hello, Abe and Bobby still going. What? Right. right across from the pier, right? This was right across from Schiff's Pier, or Central Pier, or Young's First Pier. This is the Mayflower Hotel, which at times was the, what? Almanac, the Knickerbocker, and some other name. It had a number of names through the years. The Vienna restaurant was right here beside it at St. James in the Bog. And this is all the way down to Kentucky. I think you can see the Traymore Dome right there. Can you read here. advertisement signs backwards? No, why would it? Budweiser. Where, up here, Budweiser? Down, low, right against the building, right there. All right. And above it, CB Cigars or right. something like that. But anyway, that's New Jersey, and I mean, St. James Place and the Boardwalk, looking west. South Carolina and the beach? South Carolina Beach, this is the Child's Pavilion. This is South Carolina Avenue and the beach, probably in the teens. Something like a superimposed Miss America in there. And yeah, it looks See like, her in there? Yeah. With the ba different bathing suit than the mm -hmm. other people? There, bright and punch. That's what I don't think it says. This was like, what, Pennsylvania in the board? There's right. the weather station. Here's the seaside building goes in here. This is the front of the strand where they keep the rolling chairs, Pennsylvania and the boardwalk. I checked this advertising sign out. It looks like a cocktail glass or a champagne yeah. glass, and yeah. it says Brighton something. Well, you know what it is? What? Remember men's, in the fit, remember 1959 through 62 or something, men would use garters to hold up their socks right, a little just this, below the knee? That's what they were. That's them. And a Coca-Cola sign. Seaside building. Steeplechase Pier. Okay, that's pretty good. 
How about a Kentucky Avenue on a ball real quick with Frelinger's Original Saltwater Taffy. There's a postcard of people buying, a women Victorian era buying saltwater taffy. It's listed for $18 in the, in the postcard mm -hmm. the dilettologist book. Uh, look at the awnings, how they run down the boardwalk. Kentucky in the boardwalk. And the crowd. And the Frelinger's Pavilion. This is after the fire. Holy mackerel. It was before the fire. The, the Larray was here and Smith's rolling chairs was here. And the Tarleton burnt down and... Now that's Pennsylvania Nabool, right? Pennsylvania Nabool. Looking east. Looking east. I think this is the one where they were developing Venice Park. Doesn't it say Venice Park yep. lots right here? Yep, they're for sale, Venice, Venice Park. Venice Park was selling lots at this time as real estate goes. If you have a problem with it, straight There's it the out, strand. Man. This is the Jackson building. The steel pier will be right over here. That's an Easter Sunday. Yeah, they used to go to the boardwalk. How's that one? That's great. Look at that shot. Looks like there isn't any boardwalk. Why? Right. Why does it look like there's no boardwalk, you know? Because there's no buildings in Pennsylvania. No, on the other the side, I'm talking about. Over, over here? here? Well, they, they ramped the boardwalk down there's into a ramp. the beach. There's you can a see big it. ramp. People right there. walking on it. There's people walking this way down to these cabanas or chairs and stuff. So that's pretty good. We'll get some good photos out. That's where they're going on at the beach. Here's where they are on the beach. Pretty good, eh? They would jump out there into the beach at the high tide. There's a... Every one of these postcards were made from a f photograph, but we want to show you how'd that building get on the wrong side of the boardwalk here? What is this? Well, you had a gentleman, when they changed the boardwalk from here, it used to go back towards the lighthouse, but then when they wrapped the boardwalk around, this guy was caught on the outside of the boardwalk with his apartment building at uh, New Jersey and the boardwalk. He had his an name apartment was, building. His name was, uh, I think I put it on the back. Yeah, it is on the back. What does it say? Outside the boardwalk. There's his place right over here, outside. States Avenue Apartments, George H. Earl Jr. He sold it January 1st, 1912. The Garden Pier was erected on July 19th of 1913. So, so between 1912 and 1913, these yeah. apartments had to go. These apartments had to be removed. They were on the wrong side of the boardwalk. And he sold his repairing rights and they built the Garden Pier. I think you can see the lighthouse way in the background. Oh, you can see the breakers and you can see the St. Charles you and you can see, see the Nixon Theater. There was no breakers. The Rudolph, the St. Charles, the Nixon Theater, which became the Globe. Yeah, there it is. And that's this. That's a photograph. Here's the postcard. There's the postcard. Here's his apartments out here on the water side of the boardwalk. Here. You can see it here. You can see the Rudolph and the St. Charles. Yep, the postcards show where he was, and they took a few between 1912 and 1913. Got to move that down. Right, there, there he is. He's out here. This the Maryland Ave States Avenue, Maryland Avenue, Virginia Avenue pavilions. This is Virginia Avenue. Yep, looking east. There you go. Here's Virginia in the boardwalk, the Jackson Building, and the Steel Pier. The General Motors exhibit went in there, and this is the way he had a dress to go to the beach. Look. Yeah, man, they're youngsters. They're the kids. That's how the kids had to dress when they went down there. You had to be completely covered. And the men weren't even allowed to take these top shirts off. The first person to do take his shirt off and get arrested in the city of Atlantic City was Bob Hope. And at the back of this one, I'm going to read it first. It says, this is the way the boardwalk looks at night, Sarah. Just millions of electric lights along it. I was in bathing yesterday, and with all our love, Ellen. Then at Virginia Here Boardwalk. it is all lit up with light bulbs. Virginia Boardwalk, the Jackson Building, which became Frelinger's and Planner's Peanuts, and the, what, what movie, Strand or Stanley? Which one? Strand. Yeah, the Strand. The Strand. And this is the way it looked in the daytime, Erica. There's the daytime, everybody swimming on the beach. There's the lifeguards and the beach and everything. Steel Pier, out in the distance, a quarter mile out at sea, the Marine Ballroom. Hey, the apartments again. I'm, I'll be showing too many of them, eh? Or something. They went out there and saw that. There was the water circus way out at the end. We had a crowd out there in the middle of the ocean, about 4,000 people watching this water show take place. There's a little elephant in it. Well, you know, this one here, uh, this next one, uh, says near Steel Pier, so this is the same area out front of that place looking uptown. All right, that's the Virginia Avenue Pavilion, Virginia Avenue in the boardwalk towards Maryland, States, 
New Jersey Avenue. What's no that? Garden Pier. That's Heinz Pier out there. So what's that? The sign at the Nixon Theater? Is that the this Nixon Theater? This would be the Nixon sign? Theater or the, where the Globe went in right here. Wow. I'll tell you. Now, uh, people that came here were very rich, I'm sure. Uh, I'll change the subject a little bit by saying that... Uh, Show how they lived. How they lived, and they built up the avenues and down the avenues. And no. Anybody know what that is right offhand? Oh, it's re you can read Don't it at the bottom. They can read it good for them, but there it is. And now we'll explain what it is to you. The picture's taken from Pacific Avenue. It's from Pacific towards the Bulwark on Tennessee. Wow. Young's Hotel is right there at Tennessee in the Bulwark. Here comes, a, ho here comes a horse and buggy a carriage down the street to Tennessee Avenue. I guess the Trinidad Motel or the uh, pub is in one of these buildings here, but all these buildings are gone. Only one of these are standing. I don't know which one. Oh, but all the way down the end, that would be the Mayflower. That was the Mayflower was taken out. That's gone now, too. That's gone as well. Tennessee from the Bulwark to Pacific Avenue. This building's still there. That still looks like that. It's the YMCA right here in St. Right. Nicholas here. Uh, townhouses are still up, so that uh, is essentially up, uh, except uh, th between the church and the YMCA, between that's different now. Between here and here, they tore down the school, Put in a and from tell. Tennessee to here is a modern Howard Johnson's, Perry's Restaurants in here. Right, right. So that's uh, inner city of t Tennessee, s uh, South Carolina Pacific. Here is New York, Tennessee, and Atlantic. I thought people would like to see no, that. This is New York and Atlantic now. Renaissance would be on your left. This was the bank that was there. This was where the Embassy Theater was with the White Tower and the Law oh, Building. Oh, yeah. To Tennessee and Atlantic. Right here is Old City Hall. Down to the Bartlett Building, eh? Mm. I'll tell you, I got some cards to go through here, but let's, let's show how the people that lived here We'd use the bays just a little bit. Gardner's Basin? There's Gardner's Basin. From Gardner's Basin down the side of Rhode Island Avenue, the east side of the uh, basin. Here's the west side out here, which would be what, Barrett Avenue? That's right. As it would go out and stop here. This is Gardner's Basin right here. Well, Atlantic City's on Apsican Island, and Apsican Island goes from like Gardner's Basin to Coast Guard Station around the front of Atlantic City all the way down to Longport. The bay behind Atlantic City is the intercoastal waterway. But at the other end, in Longport, you see that boat says Longport on it. The Longport, in this the Longport. will take you to Ocean City. Right. People, I don't know how old you would have to be to remember, but it would take you from Longport to Ocean City. And how would you get to Longport? What do you mean, how would you take the trolley down to Longport? You could take the trolley down to Longport and then if you were rich. Golf course. Yeah, that's what I was saying. You let me finish, man, you know what I mean? I'm going to tell you that you get to Longport by the railroad station and get offshore. Golf course. Yeah. And you get offshore, and that's where people went golfing offshore. That's where the birdie, okay. the slogan bird, uh, wait. Yeah, yeah birdie. birdie got invented yeah. out there. Yeah. How about bogey? You ever hear of that one? Yeah. How about a little beach scene? Want that? I don't want anything, pal. You like that? No. Yeah, that's a pretty post. You weren't allowed down here as a regular citizen. Yeah, what was it called? Busby Pavilion? It's Busby Pavilion in front of the Shelburne. Why was it named Busby? Who was he? Busby owned the Shelburne. Yeah, what else did he do? What else did he do? Was he the first guy ahead of the housing authority or something? Something like that. Did they build the Busby Village after him? Mm-hmm. And uh, what else? Suppose he was the head of the arson squad. Uh, the son or something became the mm -hmm. head of the county's arson squad early. That's at that place location on the bulwark, right? Michigan and the bulwark. And this the same location on the bulwark? Same location. I remember when Dick Clark did his American Bandstand from up here and the other side. What's that, the end of the three tons or end something? The end of the three tons is right on the corner. They built that in, right? Yeah, what else is in the picture? Hey, that's Nothing. a good picture. That's it. That's they, they, the tried to, they tried to develop this all the way up and down the bulwark. They did it in front of Convention Hall. They did it in front of the shelf font and the Haddon With Hall. acoustics, with good right. acoustics. They tried to get this looping look all down the bar. Well, best of luck to them. And they built that in front of that. That's in front of the Mar That's in front of the Blenheim. The Blenheim is the concrete one. What's it say here? One. Hollywood Real Estate or something? I think it says uh, Southern California. Southern California, yeah. It's that's like a shop, I guess, that was ahead of time with us. Mm -hmm. And that's the Blenheim. The solid one. The Marlboro is the wood one. But here's another angle from the beach looking up at King of Marvin Guards. I mean, uh, Marlboro Blenheim. No, and the Dennis. Marlboro Blenheim and the Dennis right here. 
I watched the Beach Boys from this balcony back in the 80 or something. I hear you. I worked in that hotel as a sandwich guy in the uh, late right, 60s, early back. 70s. Right. Chef Peter Rickey, Baker Frank Rickey. And here's a picture from their sun gallery of the Marble Blenheim. Right. Up on that porch you just saw was this view. It's pretty view. That's uh, what they call Peacock Alley or something, isn't it? There was a, yeah, a lot of lounges. Further. There was a movie made about Peacock Alley. You think it was about this Peacock Alley? Could be. It was the first talkie, right? One of the first talkies. It seemed to be that it was a way to have women walk by certain men who uh, liked them and would well, choose them. That's how they looked. As they come by Peacock Alley here. See the bottom of the card? What's it say? What's Peacock, it say? Alley, Peacock Alley. Peacock Alley. Blah, blah, blah. You want to be an echo or do you want to say it by yourself? Well, identical twins, man. Okay. All right. I was just you sound like in you. You sound like an echo. You, you step on everything I say. But yeah. they, they would step right through here dressed. Oh. And, and the way they looked, they looked like peacocks going by because they had big bouffant. What did they call it? Pantaloon or uh, petticoats and stuff like that. Okay. And they walked by here. It was called Peacock Alley. Okay. There's a movie about it, 1929. You're repeating yourself. Now here's <laughs> here's the sun parlor of Greg Hall. Where's that at? Greg Hall uh, yeah. is the site of the post office, Illinois and Pacific okay. Avenue. You're listed as the historian on the credits, right? Okay. Is that right? That's right. And actually, okay. this was a beer garden, oh. so that the cops had to come to the first floor where they were all drunk on the tenth floor, and you never got up there. Every every hotel in Atlantic City was rigged where if you tried to get in, you had to go three miles inside the building to get somewhere. You couldn't get to nobody. How about the Trainmore lobby? Look at that. Wow. That Exchange. What, what, that's where people met in the mornings, read the papers, went to the newsstand, sat there uh, so as a hotel guest. So is this the guest. bulwark or is this the bulwark? I would say that uh, heading that direction, that's the bulwark the way. Out Towards there? It. Yeah. No? All right, this would be the front desk. The staircase should be on your left hand. Let's see. Staircase. Yeah, they're looking down into the staircase. Right, they go down into the staircases. This would be Illinois Avenue side here. People remember those staircases? Right, then the elevators would be over Somewhere here. Somewhere in there. Yeah. Go back the other way a second. Let's see how much of that staircase we have. Oh, oh. They're looking over the staircase. Yeah, they're looking over okay. right there. The desk that was the a spiral. Front desk was right here, yeah. And that oh, would be the bulwark out there, and the submarine room was downstairs and everything else. Now they had parlors and lobbies. Here's the shell font. Hmm. Look at that. There's the Shelfont Lobby. How about that? It was it Shelfont at? We talked about that. What's no, that Shelfont Net come from? It's the Shelfont. Yeah. Shelfont Net is the way you, you got confused because you had to say Haddon Hall after it. And no one would say Shelfont Haddon Hall. They'd say Shelfont Net Haddon Hall. And yeah. Shelfont Net Haddon Hall is wrong. What's that mean, Shelfont Net? Shelfont Haddon Hall. Eh, some yeah, French some stuff. Female like or something? Say Shelfont Net? I don't know. But here's the Terrace Restaurant at the Ritz-Carlton Hotel, looking out over the ocean. Here's for that? everybody at the Ritz, where this was divvied up and made into condos. This is the first floor above the Boardwalk Stores, which was a neat restaurant in the 20s and 30s. Hey, we got to hustle this up. You can see Million Dollar Pier out this window, out here on the water. All right, check this out. Herman's Restaurant, what a beautiful place to eat. All right, where's that, Maryland Avenue in the Boardwalk? That's right. What's it say there? I don't know. Boardwalk at California Avenue. Oh, that was oh. Right. Herman's Restaurant. Boardwalk at California. What's that, Duke Max? <laughs> probably one of those. How about that? Probably Duke Max, yeah. Yeah, right on the corner there. Right next to the Savoy. Right? Right. The Savoy was across the street. Now, the Vienna Restaurant on the Boardwalk, you said, was right next to the Mayflower? Yeah. So, is that it? That's it. Boardwalk? Is that the Boardwalk Vienna? Vienna Restaurant, Boardwalk. Right. The other one was between Tennessee and M.E. Blatt's on the ocean side of Atlantic Avenue right. across from City Hall. I told my man uh, Keith Bishop, I think his name is, he works for John Sykes, I told him there's his mother and father's place. The Bishop Savoy. The Bishop Savoy. Savoy. That was Another bank. bank. <laughs> hey. uh, let me tell you, they had Trenches was a bank, that was a restaurant. They had the Bishop Savoy was a bank, that was a restaurant. I Trenches was a bank, and now it's a restaurant. Right, a the whole Knife bunch. and Fork it was a restaurant, and Well, next to, next to here was Lou Tendler's. There Lou were two Tendler's. steakhouses right next door to each other. Right, then there was the Gem, and then there was McGee's. McGee's. I heard they're going to revive this joint, uh, Mount Vernon in Pacific. There it is right there on the corner. McGee's, there it is. Look Where's that? the door? Where'd you come in? Down Where's here? Dick Jackson? Or over here? Dick Jackson. Hey, there's is, the mayor. There's Dick the Jackson. door. And uh, Stumpy and everybody's Reds and everybody and they all met at McGee's. That was the that was the power place for a while. It was half 
Was born and raised on Mount Vernon Avenue. Thought up. The princess. The princess. Where's oh. the bluebird down here? Hey, didn't uh, Steve Persky tell us he served? Uh, he was the he bartender, was the bartender back in the fifties. Back in the fifties. <laughs> Steve Persky. Steve Persky. Okay. Here you go. Little almanac it says, but it's really the Mayflower. Which was Young's Hotel. Was it before the pier? Or is that a, a rendition? Yeah, it's an artist conception. Here's this was Young's Hotel as well. Here's where the slits became F. W. Woolworths, as we've had in the news here for a while. All right. This would have been there earlier in the day. And that's something. The Waldorf and the Astoria. F. W. Woolworths from New York come down and put his F. W. Woolworths in the corner. Now he's gone. It's over. It's for over for Woolworths. They just closed that store and all the stores, but it was originally there. Everything's wholesale now. Everybody's buying wholesale. Listen, that's the Steeplechase Pier, right? Is that the Steeplechase Pier? Yeah, I guess so. And I what happened? That's the Steeplechase, is it? Yeah, I think that's the Steeplechase yeah, Pier. Be, yeah, there's the mouth opening in. And here's the end of the pier with a little. Oh yeah, a little. Mer bar, um, oh, what did you call that? There. R riding the rail. Well, they're out there doing that. Mary, go that around was at the, the very end of the Steeplechase Pier. Here we go around the Mulberry. Show the board. aerial on the Mulberry. That. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that a nice one? Look at this one. You remember you talked about going into Steeplechase Pier or something, and you'd wind up in a yeah, big there spin? They would spin you around this thing and whip you right the heck out of and there. You pick up to, all your money. You had to get to the middle to stay on it. If you got anywhere outside the middle, it flung you off. I heard it was a ruse to get money. Yeah, they probably had a collection box underneath. All your money came out of your pocket. Maybe it was in that house. See well, that house right there? There's that little merry-go-round yeah. right down there. It was probably in there. Steeplechase, then and steel. I, I heard they would give you a clown outfit so you didn't ruin your clothes. You would get in a clown outfit. And all. But look at, this look at this steel pier. Look at this here. Oh, man, I know. It's look pretty. at that, baby. All the yeah. way out there. And How about this one? Garden's Hold in. Hold it. Steel. The end of it. The other Good side out. Look at that. Virginia Avenue Beach. This is where we started being Beach Boys and Umbrella Boys, right Jake on this Barrett. beach. What Jake. was the guy that fixed the bicycles? What was that? Marv. Marv what? Do you remember? Mm, remember that? Marv, I don't know. Warshafter. Oh, yeah, he was down there. See Pinky Kravitz and Warshafter and Jake Barrett. We got they a couple minutes. A couple minutes they left. I want to show beach. you these. What does it say there, Texaco? Texaco is still involved. Here's Garden Pier. Garden Pier. This Here's is where the Underwood typewriter was in here. And the Atlantic City Museum is there. Keith's apartment. So I got a picture of Houdini hanging here, hanging down here on a rope, getting out of a sack with handcuffs on. Okay, Houdini got out. There's Haddon Hall early as a cottage. There's early Haddon Hall. Here's with the arcade building and a building built in front of the cottage in the they Haddon Hall. They put the arcade building here and the first section of Haddon Hall. The old place is still back here. See it? That's heavy because there's the lighthouse that all the ships looked for, so they didn't crash into Atlantic City, eh? There's the lighthouse. Okay. There's mm -hmm. a. Hmm, What's that's it say? The Inlet Hotel. The Inlet Hotel, but it's a restaurant of some sort. It was sort. Herman's. Herman's Restaurant. Right. The train used to come around and go down here, and then they put yeah. the front. When we were kids, they had a boat coming out the front of this thing. I know Herman. Herman Cabo from the... Mm -hmm. He's got the, the old Monarch Bar here on New York Avenue. Yeah. I wonder if that was his... Old. Well, this is where Curtis Aircraft used to fly their sea boats. Hyman's, Hyman's. Seaside Dockers or something. That's so where it was. Here's Ship Ahoy. This is what it looked like in the 50s for yes. us. The Captain Stein's Wishing Well and the dock out here. Famous Atlantic City aeroplane, Save Bader Field. Here's the Warner Theater and the Million Dollar Pier. We're ready to wrap up here in about a minute. And there's the Warner Brothers Theater. Throw some Our quick Kansas, ones. Our Kansas in the Boardwalk and the Million Dollar Pier. Some three as good it, ones. As it was owned by Hammett, or Hamid today. They would. Hey, business, like, atmosphere, Boardwalk, bank, almanac, Mayflower. Mayflower, the arcade building. Same afternoon, upside down. Should throw that in there, though. Let me just look at that. That was a look heck of a big scene, isn't it? Look at that. Look at that. That's ready to go. And then they would get up and get on a, bu a bus and go to the inlet and go out on a, on a, on a thing. There's the Miss Atlantic City. That was a power boat and a half. And now, if you took that ride, it brought you back to Starnes, which brings you back to us. Back to us? Yes, yeah, oh. time flies when you're having fun. Hey, listen. Oh, I wanted to show this. Do we have two seconds? Oh, uh, hurry, we, hurry. We found out where this was. If you can flick to this real quick, all right? Up. Upside down. Here we go. The upside Things down ball. Atlantic City Casino. We found out where it was. It was in the Lagoon Venice Park, the warehouse. Okay. They just tore it down. That's okay. it. Okay. We appreciate you tuning in.
New York has its lady San Francisco the bay Paris has its tower London its queen The town I was born in might change from old to new That's something I must tell you I've got sand in my shoes I'll never leave Atlantic City I'll never go Too far away I'll never leave Atlantic City On the boardwalk the song People come every day Take in the sun air Walk on its beaches Might ride in rolling chairs When they look at the brand new Think of the old days, things they used to do. Atlantic City, my hometown. I won't forget Atlantic City. I'll never leave and go too far.